Uh, my brain is just not there, guys. My brain is not there. You saw everything I'm taking. <clears throat> I'm all bent out of shape over that 416 Bitcoins up there in front of me. I can't even concentrate. Ah. <clears throat> I'm going to be boiling over this for weeks. Well, you saw what I did. I bumped this guy up. I'm talking about the hooks. I went to number one. One odd hooks in here. That's what you want for these fish we're going after. Put a number one on here. That's in the middle. Number one, one aught. Maximum for these fish are two aught. So, there you go. All right. Now, normally, where I want, I want to go after the bacools. Back kill a moles first. But I want to fish for the other guys. We're going to float down this back channel back here. So, what we're going to do rather than just go up here. I want the boat up there so I don't have to drive back up there again. So we're going to drive up to this spot. Sure up. We're going to fish up there off land for a little bit. And then we're going to get back in the boat and kind of float down this channel down here. And we'll catch a lot of these a lot of these humpback in there. That, that They should be in there. So we'll give her a whirl. All right, let's do friends only, I guess. That's what we do nowadays, isn't it? Go into the boat, Doc Buck. All right, let's go fishing. Put that away for now, buddy. How's the day look? need to just take that canoe and paddle it and get some of your anger out for a while. Now look at this. Here we are again. Now how am I supposed to get in there? It's just... Ugh. All right. We're going to have this problem now. Okay. Fuck, you're gonna hit these rocks, you know it. Sneak in here, don't go riding in here disturbing everything. <laughs> I'm a buddy right that. Good. We'll get the munchies later. We know where we can come get some jerky. Well, we could actually do it from here. This is good. Let's see what we got out there. Ooh. Uni, Trophy, Uni, Trophy, Uni, Humpback over there. 
Let me catch these guys on. Barbus narrow spoon. Barbus narrow spoon. Need I say any more? Who's here? Oh. Ah, that reminds me. <laughs> Hi, Micah. <laughs> <laughs> he had to come over and stick his paw in his butt. <laughs> oh, it's been one of those days. I'm coming, Beanie Boy. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Where am I at? Hang out with Buck. That would, that would help. Start event. Oh, man. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I got that taken care of now. Okay. Back to this. All right. What am I doing? I need something with a purple narrow spoon on it, except I don't have the purple narrow spoon. I don't... That's the wrong one, buddy. We've got... I decided to swap the purple narrow spoon out for this Club Series Barbless. Same deal, only it's a Club Series. So, we'll see what we... Now, remember, guys. All these were all these markers out here, they marked where I caught a fish on this lure. All right. Mm -hmm. so, so that that fish did not hit when I dropped it in the water. So all these fish really, if you're gonna try to float rod fish and stuff like that, these, these fish are in the middle, not out there. Okay? Th th those marker boys are a bunch of crap. Uh oh. Yeah. Why did that? Uh -huh. Why did that do that? Oh. Uh, hello, Micah. I'm I'm having a hard time today, buddy. I'm having a hard time today. I know. All right, can you please move your pole out of my face? Thank you. Sorry. That's okay. Hi, Jules. How are you? Uh oh. Come on, fish. Well, we're fishing for this Bakuo mule. And I'm trying, I'm trying the club narrow spoon instead of the purple one. Let's see if it's, see if it's as good or not. I don't know yet. I just threw it in the water for the first time. Ah. We'll see. Maybe try to beef it up a little bit. Uh oh. Why are you throwing it so far, Buck? There he is. Easy does it there, little fella. You're gonna hurt yourself. Now I'm gonna put you back. Not. Oh, there's our first one. He's no trophy, but so the club series. The club series narrow spoon seemed to work. We'll see. We'll give it a couple more, a couple more shots over there. That's a little short there, but
Are you starting on me? Are you starting on me already with your unis? <laughs> That's not what a, a cat and one in a car. <laughs> I saw oh, them with blinders. Air, YouTube is not responding. Oh, wonderful. Okay. That's just something else to go wrong today. <laughs> I don't even care about that. Is the stream running? Yeah. Thank you. That's all. I do. Oh, they send me way yeah. too way too many yeah, messages for there. one man. <laughs> oh my. Okay. This is the end of the I'm trying to I oh, see that one in China. Where are you going? Man. Well, I guess China's not that far from here. That wouldn't be like, wouldn't be as funny over here. <laughs> oh, I've got to find something. Find humor in something today. Come on. Yeah. Oh, now we're talking. Don't worry about that. Thank you. I don't know what this area is. YouTube is not something. Open studio. I'm. I'm not opening studio. Mm -hmm. I got enough open. I, uh, I was watching a documentary, documentary regarding YouTube the other day, and uh, the, the amount of data, data that they process, right? right? And not, not to be too rude or anything, but the general point of the documentary was essentially they shouldn't be handling as much as they do because they're really not set up for it. There we go. Here, there's our uni. I guess we have to get a picture of him, Buck. You don't have a uni. Well, you got plenty of unis out there. Don't. What are you doing with pictures? You don't need pictures. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Stop it. We don't know. Wow. Like mm -hmm. I like I need one more uni picture. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right. Let's uh, see. Okay, not one. Uh -huh. There we go. Nice one, <laughs> Smoke, you're coming in a little hot, buddy. All right, what is this? I'm not opening studio. How about if we close you and then we open it back up and see what it has to say? Thanks, Rocky. Well, I don't know why. I made some new pictures. You did? Yeah. yeah. Are you up in the chat? No, I don't have any yet. You mean the, the channel chat, right? Yeah. I'll get an the party thing, Discord party. Okay. I'm not dropping any frames. Are you not? No, I, I don't know what they're talking about. Mm. Mm. Well, according to mine, I am blasting my frames right now. 
now. So here, Buck, come take a couple of mine. <laughs> It's telling me YouTube is not receiving. YouTube is not. Re YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. As such, mm -hmm. viewers will be buffering. Viewers. I'm will not seeing anything. All right. No. I ain't worried about it. You need to quit bothering me with. You need to quit bothering me. I sent them the I just, uh, send me the pictures on the camera. Oh. It's not my computer that's... My computer has nothing to do with it. OBS is what sends my stream to YouTube. Oh, I understand that. Well, no, I'm responding to Fishing Planet on the chat. Hmm. I got plenty of power. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, now all of a sudden I have excellent. Now I haven't done a thing, but I have excellent. All right, there's another back. Ooh. Right. There you go. I have some. You know those go in fan art. What? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I saw my <laughs> Caliber's going to get on you. Caliber will get you. Caliber will get you. <laughs> huh? Or did someone get him uh, support again? Oh, he's around. He's in cup. Well, yeah, but that's a different account. He's he's here. He's incognito. Oh, uh, like he always is. <laughs> he's around. Albert, <laughs> you're hearing this, buddy. We love you. You know this. Okay, my other friend right now. Atta boy. Oh my God. That's okay. I'm missing time. <laughs> well, I guess I guess I should try to catch um, one of these on live bait. Okay, so you know fan art now. Pointing. They send me white underneath uh Right. I don't know. It was And now we to take my my Nice. Oh, you see them? Yes, I do. Well, that's why I want to Okay, let's see. What do I do? Oh, Joe, my art is in the uh, art, the fan art. And you are. My pictures, the art thing I did, they're in the, uh, the fan art. 
There we go. Red worms. Number one hook. He's a nice size one. Two pounder. I make good money at market. Good money at market. Yeah, I guess it takes a long time for YouTube to get their stuff right because they still tell me I have no female viewers. Don't don't make Jules whip her green card out on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, Buck, shut up about that stuff. Boy, it's amazing when you actually go out there and, and, and read everything about what they consider offensive. It's it's a wonder I'm mm. it's a wonder I'm allowed to leave the house. Maybe that's why I'm not. Mm. <laughs> I get up and take a breath. It's offensive to somebody. Mm. <laughs> oh, just because of who I am and what I believe in, that's offensive nowadays. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. no, 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 no. Yep, off the boat dock. Straight out off that yeah. island. <clears throat> That's a good spot over there, but where you're fishing right now, off to the right, I think I have a couple of uh, burbot markers over there. That's also a very good place for them. This, I like fishing this river. I like just floating around, floating down that back channel. Um, it's I know peaceful. Here. Peaceful. I got over here. here. Not you guys. Uh oh, there we go. What are, you, what are you doing, everybody? Are you gonna hit that thing or what? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yank his lips off, Buck. <laughs> Rip the lips off. I can. I lost my other one. Oh, things happen. Huh? Things happen. Look at Picasso. When Picasso was alive, his artwork was worthless. He was burning it to keep himself alive for warmth. Mm. Now look at his work. Mm -hmm. Well, that's bad. That's the only thing about being an artist. Your your stuff never makes any money till you're dead. Then somebody wants to buy. Somebody wants to buy it then because you can't produce no more. No. 
Catching all the fish over there. Micah, what is another Uni Northern Pike? <laughs> and I'm not born in time here. We have no proof of that. I'm on the uh, morning when I came in. I can always catch I can always catch you up on it though with a couple of quick fast questions. You'll 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 release the information needed. <laughs> yeah. I can make you sign the papers. What? What's that one thing? Sign the papers, old man. No, I cannot sign the papers. <laughs> you have my hands tied. <laughs> Old comedy from about 50 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Billy Dean would have laughed at that one. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Buddy. Mm. <laughs> well, we caught him on the bottom rod. Red worms, by the way. Num number mm. one, number one hook. Uh, what else do we need? We need that humpback, and but they're not out here. They're around. They're around to the left. Uh, we might even be able to catch them. Let me see if I can walk over there real quick. How far of a walk is it? I can't remember. Take our little omni float out here. Because if I remember correctly, we'll put that pole up in the air buck before it gets caught on a tree. Caught on a tree. Oh, now you're going to really get it caught on a tree branch. Ah. Oh, by the way, right here, you catch the, the, the Amur bitterling, if you're interested in that mm -hmm. little critter. Uh, 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 oh, here we go. Uh, I went too far. Mm. Well, what do you have on? What? What is that, Bob? Oh, Bob series slider, one hundred and sixty <laughs> inches. I don't think so. I, I don't think we need a slider here, Buck. Where were you fishing at? Huh? Oh, I'm talking to myself like I always do. <laughs> what? Talk to my... uh, he's busy. He's getting, he's flooded out. He's out in his rowboat trying to save all of his chickens. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Well, it's been, it's been raining over there, torrential downpours, I guess, for for three days. Well, we're all flooded here. It's terrible, the rains that we've had up here. Pennsylvania? Yep. My friend said he's near you. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of rain here. I know. That's what my friend told me, that he lives where you live. Well, my buddy Red, he's up north mm. right now for fishing mm. for tomorrow morning. Tomorrow and morning. and all the streams are so flooded, they don't even know if they're even going to be able to get into them because everything is just just flooded. Wow. Yeah, he says it's probably going to be a beer drinking trip mostly. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to hit us. That's been bad on us. And then it hit you guys. Oh, right. Everything's going to hit us. Well. I 
time six weeks of books to get laying in Monday is Tuesday. Yeah. And I go logging on Tuesday morning. Uh huh. Okay, small hey, minnows. Kind of small minnows it is. Yeah, we should use the bottom rod, Buck. We'll try the float rod first. We got barbless hook. Why not? Small minnows. Oh, man. Well, we're not getting a bite here with that. There's a little system lag there, Buck. Mm. Internet. Server. There he is. I saw you coming, big boy. I saw you coming. <laughs> Here, hide. Trophy hide. All right. I'll take him. Mine came and went. <laughs> what happened to your mind? It went. Oh. Oh. There we go. Got a, looks like we got a grayling out of there. We'll take him. There's a little grayling on that club series. Narrow spoon. Let's try to fit the fit the horn right there. Buck right on the other side of that rock. Um, what did you do? Fall in the water? No, my line got pulled off for some reason. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you had your drag set too tight. No. No, I wouldn't do that. It's like, no, I wouldn't spend 2,200 bank coins on an unlimited license to the moron river of all places. Ugh. Uh. 
There ain't nothing in the middle here, though, dang it. Yeah, I know you're in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did it again. What did it again? It's a dace, I think. No, oh, another eye. Yeah. All right, Buck, I think you were that hole out there. Let's go over here a little bit. Um, All right, Jules. Hey, have fun tonight. All right, hey, guys. Have a good night. Okay. okay. Uh -oh, Buck, you're going downstream now. You better bump, bump that up a little bit. Tug her a little quicker. Mm -hmm. better tug her a little quicker when you're going downstream. Open again, Buck. Mm. We can get us a hump back down here, Buck. That's not allowed. Uh. 
Huh? Smokey nose. That's not allowed. That yawning. I'm sorry. I'm not allowed. I should have been changed, don't you know? <laughs> <clears throat> All right. White fish. Oh, oh. Yeah, white fish. <laughs> Holy fuzzle. Oh, Blood moon. Red moon. In there, Buck. Get him out of there, Buck. I do that ain't no humpback. Dang it. Dang it. Gas food inflation sup. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Howdy, Browning. Oh, you missed him, Buck. Well, he's having no patience. So, <clears throat> oh, we're, uh, we're, we're that. I probably had internet issues. Well, how would I know if, if, if his internet cut out on him? It's not like he would have had time to alert me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's up, Mark? Not much. It's, I'm. Trying to catch some humpback whitefish, to tell you the truth. I'm catching everything but them. How you been? Good. Good. I got, got my trunks up. <laughs> I love to hear that. Where's that wench at on the front? Hey, I need to get, get one. one. You get her stuck a few more times, you'll have one. <laughs> well, luckily, luckily, it wasn't stuck bad. bad. I didn't, I didn't, get, I didn't let, let myself get stuck too bad. bad. Oh, there you go. So, as long as you can somehow manage to weasel your way out of it, it's all right. Then we, we had a four with this with a 3,000 pound winch, which, which is not a lot for a truck, but it was just enough to get out of my own rut. And then once it was out, I didn't 
baby it. I just put the pedal to the floor and steered and tried not to hit trees, and I came out of it. There you go. So, so I didn't. I got stuck, but I, I got out of the same spot that I got stuck once I actually was trying not to get stuck. But they're all their entire tires. I can't expect them to do what they're doing in the mud. No, of course not. All right, Buck, why ain't you getting this guy? Why ain't you putting that stupid target out there, too? That's annoying to me. I told you before about that. Just bought unlimited license, Buck. Oh, don't go there. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, oh, don't pick up a rough line. Oh, I mean, it's it me, it took. It took two days for me to put my office back together. What happened? Why? It's it's a good thing I didn't see that for the entire two hours, the the entire two hour stream. I never noticed it, never noticed it, and I did it right off the bat. Just bang! Soon as soon as the stream started, when I had the audio issues, I was trying to buy the license and fix the audio at the same time. <clears throat> I just saw the green down there and said, okay, good to go. And I, it was three days later when I logged into the system. And I logged in and saw 416 bait coins. And I about lost my mind. Right away, I'm accusing, you know, I'm going to write a mem memo to Fishing Plant. They stole, they stole all of my damn money. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, because I'm still on the stupid moron river, right? I looked down because I knew I should have not had a license at that point. It should have been red down there, not green. Uh -uh. And it was glowing, just a nice bright green saying, unlimited. Uh -uh. Do you have that for every location or just one? I, uh, one. Just, just that's, the, 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 it's stupid to buy that thing. That's the dumbest thing that you could do in the game is buy that unlimited license. Mm. Oh. Unless, Unless it's, it's a place, place that you've been a long time now. No, it's never worth it. Never. I mean, you can make How? you can make that you can make the money for the license in the first day that you're on any waterway. One day, and and you and if it's a small waterway, a couple hours. You know. I mean, it's no. It's just the math is never there. It's you never buy that unlimited license. No. You need that gold for barbless gear. You need the gold for exp storage expansion. You, you know, that gold is so important. That was, and the worst part about it is if I didn't have all the missions done, it wouldn't have bothered me so bad. I have no way of earning it now because I'm, I've leveled up to as high as you can get. I've done all the missions. So that's how you get all that gold is by doing the missions. I've been saving that shit for two years and I just blew it. Oh. Uh, I do have a question. What? Don't don't think of it to be rude, just curiosity. What were you saving all those coins up for, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah. Well, because it seems arbitrary to save them up to never spend them on anything in the game. Oh, I spend them constantly on on barbless hooks. You run out of barbless hooks, it costs you gold. You 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 need more expansion because you got more gear now. It costs you gold. Um, everything that you functionally you need to progress in the game. There's my, there's our dace, by the way, guys. We were hunting him. We got him right here. Um, you need gold for. I mean, that's the important stuff. That's why you, I mean, if you want to buy some of these barbless lures, it's, you know, that's a lot of bait coins right there. Um, some of the good DLCs are, most of the better DLCs that they came out with, that you know, that's ninety nine gold Bitcoin, or you know, it's stuff that's good to have, and it's 
mostly all of it is keeping your, I don't know what you want to call it, your environment healthy, so to speak. Your fishing environment. You got enough tackle, you got enough storage, you got enough marker boys. All your marker boys cost gold. I mean, those, I don't, I mean, they're stupid to me in the game, but if you're going to be a content creator, you have to put them down or people don't know where the hell you're throwing them. You know, you can't tell them throw to the right of the log. They're, they're throwing up in the grass. Your other right. <laughs> yeah. You got to give 2,200 bait coins. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I thought you something like grain. For what river? Moron, moron. The, mo the moron. The worst river of all. I mean, no, I go. That's I, get bent. Well, no, get bent. Oh, God. If, if, I would have jumped off my house roof if, if it would have been unlimited license to get bent. <laughs> <laughs> I actually told the Wheezy Mouse, I'm going up to the attic, I'm getting, I'm climbing up, and I'm jumping off the freaking roof. She says, you're just going to break a leg, and then I have to take you to the hospital. It's going to cost you more money. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Mm. Unless you went head first. Well, I could, uh, I could swan dive uh, off, but... She has the negative luck of an Irishman. Easy, easy. <laughs> easy. Uh, well, you know, what are you going to do? And my one buddy says, well, it's worth a try. Just send Fishing Planet a, an email and explain the situation. I said, yeah, they're going to tell me to pound sand up my crapper. Tough luck, Charlie. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I mean, it's an easy fix for them. All I got to do is take the flag away that says unlimited license. And put the damn twenty four twenty two hundred dollars back on my Bitcoin field in the database. It takes all of two seconds to fix it, but they ain't gonna do that. Well, if they did it for me, they'd have to do it for everybody who fucked up. So it's not even worth the email. No. Now, what is so kind is I want to replace those 2,200 Bitcoin. Oh, I can do it for a mere $99 in the freaking, in, yeah. in the DLC shop. I can get them all back for $99. <laughs> mm. That ain't going to happen. Well, I wouldn't worry about it too, too much because let's look at some positives here. I know it's hard, but let's look at some genuine positives here. You have a new map coming out in the near future, which is going to come out with dedicated DLC for you to review. Mm -hmm. Each one of those review packs is going to increase your bait coins potential a little bit. It's probably not going to get you to where you were, but it will help subside a little bit. I mean, I, I would, I had one of, the, I had, I mean, there's a couple of guys that had more bait coins than me. I mean, KP's got like five grand. I think Dave has like five grand in, in bait coins. Yeah. But I, you know, I had, I, I had almost 3,000. I had 2,600 Bitcoin. Ah. Why do you think that happens? Like, wait a minute. Well, see, here's the other thing, though. What were you saving for at that point? Well, I just told you about all the stuff because I've got to play this game for the next seven, eight years. I don't want to run out of gold. I, I have, what am I going to wait once a week for them to give me one gold because I signed in? You know, as the, the higher you get up, the more compet all your all your challenges and everything. When you complete them, you ain't got no ways of earning that coin. No. Well, That's you can get that back if you do competitions. Yeah, you have to do competitions. You have to do other stuff. I mean, once I mean, like I'm screwed here, really bad, because I there's no I have no recourse. I can't go back and recoup them. Sell, sell the, the old, old boats, boats that, that came from the DLC packs. I, I can't sell my boats. Not all of them. Yeah, there's a couple I know you hate. That doesn't matter. 
I'm, I might have to do a video in the future on that again. Because I know there's some gear that you do have that you really don't like. I know. Well, see, it's like I could sell every one of those DLC jackets. Every one of them. And I could, I could probably get back my... If I went down through and got rid of all my tackle boxes, all my rod cases, and all my... All that stuff... I I could probably recoup all of that. Um my go get rid of everything, just the stuff that you know for a fact you are never going to use. Either A, you don't like its performance, or B, you just hate its visuals. Well, I mean like I, I would never ever 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 change my tackle box and, and go to something smaller. Never. So all those tackle boxes, I, but see, that was the thing with me. I was collecting every tackle box that you got when for missions and all that. So I have, I have all the tackle boxes yeah. that you, you can't buy, but yeah. you, you know, but what am I going to do with them? Absolutely nothing. What, what are they doing? They're taking up storage spots, you know, <laughs> but I have them. You're going to do either a stream or just an added video. On the first ever Frumpy Buckle Inventory Purge. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, God. Oh. These are items that I have just had sitting in my inventory, collecting dust, metaphorically speaking, if they were real. Well, mm -hmm. I keep hoping for the day. Now, this is what I'm hoping for. And... I, I keep yeah. talking about it and hoping that this will happen, but it, it probably yeah. won't. There he is. Um, yeah. Right now, the only reason I won't wear all those cool jackets is because I have to give up my vest that has a, that has a hundred tackles in it to go down to one yeah. to go down to one of them jackets that have what seven, five, four, two, something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to do that, but. You know, they should, by all rights, by all means, take the tackles away from those shirts. Don't even put a tackle on them. Just, if they want to, you know, because everybody wants to wear different clothes so we look different. All right? So let these guys put that shirt on and put their vest on over top of it. No, the shirt gives you no tackles whatsoever, but it's cool to wear, you know, so you can dress your avatar up. And then those things, I'm hoping that that day comes where... Not everybody's wearing the same friggin' flannel shirt constantly. Mm -hmm. But will that ever happen? I doubt it. But, you know, it's just me hoping that, well, now I have, I don't have to go back and buy all the DLCs. I have all those jackets I can wear, and I can still put my vest on and keep my tackle. But, you know, that's me, a dreamer. Yeah. No, it's not it's not hundred and sixty dollars. It's only ninety nine dollars because you can buy the twenty the two thousand dollar the two thousand Bitcoin uh premium pack for ninety nine dollars and they kick in an extra three hundred and thirty Bitcoins. So you get twenty three thirty for ninety nine dollars. I only spent twenty two, so I'd actually make hundred and thirty Bitcoin on the deal, but it's still ninety nine dollars. Which reminds me, one of my 99 cent beers is calling me. Uh -huh. All right, I caught the days. We caught everything on our list. Except for that humpback. The humpback? We did it in the first hour. Okay, the humpback's in here. He's right over here. That's my marker for him with this lure. Well, it ain't really this lure, but it's a narrow spoon. But this club, yeah. this club series is pretty good. It catches everything that that purple spoon caught. Maybe even a couple more. 
shouldn't take long to pull that humpback out of here. Um, I'm... No, she's not. She just probably forgot to close her Discord down. This guy's giving me a little trouble. Maybe I have to bring out the float rod on him. Hmm. Hmm. They're all through here. Then we'll let it drop to the bottom and drag it through the mud a little bit. We got. Well, no, I'm because I'm all right. I still have four hundred and sixteen. So I just want my 2200 back. That's all. I still have four. I had 2616. Mm -hmm. I mean, but it's over and done with now. I have to quit talking about it because every time I think about it, I get even, I get angry again. We don't get angry, right, no. Micah? No. <laughs> yeah, I think. <clears throat> Yeah, I think it would be cool if we could wear our tournament tournament shirts and stuff like that that we get in the DLCs underneath of our vest. That would, you know, you could still still see the sleeves and stuff. You could tell that it's a different type of shirt. They just hinder the fishermen too much. If you want to wear that stuff, you've got to, like, not go fishing. Who's going to go on a fishing trip and take seven tackle with them? <laughs> uh, no one. No one. Hell, it takes me 20 minutes to load my tackle boxes into the boat. <laughs> mm. <laughs> seven I tackle. I have a lot of free universal tackle, so I don't have that problem. All right. Oh, you gotta have you gotta have the right gear when you're out there on the water. Conditions change. The everything could change in a, in, in a heartbeat. You gotta be able to go oh, to. I have a little bit of everything. I just don't run everything. Everything. Uh -uh. I I right. I flipped out on one guy. Red and I come off the lake one one day last year, and that this mm -hmm. is the, this is the same guy that gave me that. You know, he just handed me a friggin'. $12 musky lure. He had like nine of them in a box. Yeah, yeah. It, it, here, this, you want to use this. This These guys pulled in, right? They, we were all coming in at the same time. It was just getting dark. So we were all just kind of putzing around and bullshitting while we were waiting for guys to load up. This guy had, mm -hmm. this guy had like 30 freaking sticks in the front of that boat, all armed. 30 of them. Mm -hmm. and he's like, I hate changing lures out. I'm like, dude. <laughs> oh, he was no hillbilly guy in a straw hat. His beard was twice as long as mine. <laughs> uh, yeah. I said, how the hell do you move in the front of that boat without getting hooked up on something? Yeah. I mean, I could, I keep six or seven, but not 30. I have a problem. I try to limit it down to like four or five when I'm out on the top, out on my deck of my boat. Four or five out here, Buck. That's it. Keep everything else, mm. you know, below deck. Yeah. But, uh, and even then, with four or five rods, because you've got different actions, you got, you know, a spinning rod, a casting rod, or this and that. You know, I carry, I carry a couple of everything. Depends on the area I'm in at that moment where I'm at and on the lake. And I do the same thing. I don't want to change baits a lot, so if I plan on throwing four or five baits, then I have four or five rods out there. It's quicker. Believe me, it's a lot quicker, but man, to, to, to not be able to make up your mind to have 30 different rods out there all baited up. Yeah. 
Yeah, these guys are dedicated. They're out there. They're out there daily. All right, Buck, let's get this hump fish out of here. You been here an hour, you cut I know, him. Everything but him. Has anybody caught one yet? Uh, caught one. Uh, hump, humpback whitefish. I did a long time ago. I'm not talking about a long time ago. I'm talking about tonight on the stream. No, I haven't. Yeah. So why, I caught one, was don't you know, Micah, that's what all our viewers view in to watch because I tell them what fish we're going after. So I tell them we're going after the Baku Amul, which I go catch three or four of. I tell them that we're going after the Dace, which we I catch one. And yeah. all, all my team guys are supposed to be here showing how we can catch all these. What are you doing? You're over there catching Uni Northern Pikes. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to get the money. <laughs> this is no offense on paying money. <laughs> they don't pay. Well, you you have to wait till after. Even Bill Dance waits till after the TV show before he fishes for the big guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wait! Wait till this summer when I start hitting my knee on that on that ball hitch when we start doing some. <laughs> We start doing some real life videos. Uh, yeah. yeah, I just got to get my my pull deck up for Wheezy Mouse first. That's that's the main objective right now. If I could, uh, if, yeah, well, if I could ever get the the rain to stop so I could get outside for an hour, it would be nice. There you go, Buck. But he ain't what you need. I don't think. Oh, he turned like he was, but I don't think so. Nope. Nice. I got an eyed. I got a rock. He's in there. I know he's in there. I'm going to have to break out the Cadis larva. Uh -oh. That's his number one food. Uh -huh. Come on, there he is. Look at him taking my line. <laughs> he missed his buck. Sometimes I don't, uh, I don't know. Well, a lot of times they'll they'll just take your damn lure and they'll run all the way upstream with it, and they never will bite it. No. They just move mm -hmm. it on you because they don't want it in their area. Get they just move it out of here. Go go, go yeah. put that go put that somewhere else, buddy. Here. Actually, the other spot for these humpbacks was over where you where you were catching that burbot northern pike on the right side of the island. Okay, there. Well, if you go just a little bit further to the right, these humpbacks are. Know. Yeah, these humpbacks are over there too. It's like they're on both sides of the silent areas. Oh, look at that. Big old perch. Don't catch them too many in here. No. Uh oh, what do we got here? Oh, challenge complete. Junior hydrologist of the. Uh, that means I caught all of the all the species, I guess. Oh, I got uh. yeah, I got them all, I guess. That's the that's the bottom one you get. It. Oh, I got a bait coin for that! Yay! <laughs> Only one. one. Yeah, one. It's like I got a rock. <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna. I'm never going to get over this. Oh. All right. That's not fishing planet. That's not fishing with Bach. It's a long box. Can't talk about it here right now. Got to wait for the after party. Oh, sorry. 
Okay, I'll tell you later. Are you enjoying said game? Uh, yes. Then I'm glad to hear it. Where? I just don't know where he is, darn it. I don't know where he is. There we go. Dang it. More perch. I don't want perch. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was going to happen. Michael, why didn't you get a couple of those club bells? You have club tokens. Uh, I don't know how much I have. You, you should have, we, we, uh, we made some pretty good, oh, no, not, we did, we did better on the Steam platform than we did over here. I don't yeah, know. That's what I'm to tell you that. Yeah, but the bells are pretty cheap. I, I mean, if you could, if you can afford anything, the bells are something you can afford. If, if you ain't got mm -hmm. many, I know they weren't too expensive when it came to club tokens. Yeah. And those bells are so much nicer and what? than than the ones we normally have been getting. In, you know, them screamy ones that we have, the blue and green and mm -hmm. yellow ones or whatever they are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the club ones actually sound like the real ones in real life. Yeah. They sound a little more like that, but more realistic. Yeah. I have a couple of the Halloween ones too. I mean, they're goofy as hell, but at least they at um, least at least they can tell you can tell the difference with Paul. It is. Uh oh, where are you going with that, Buck? Across the bank. What's going on? I think we caught all the fish out of this hole, Micah. Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think but... I have, but you have. We'll try a little cross stream action. Maybe we can get something. Let's go fast, Buck. Uh, what? Go slower. Darn it, darn it, darn it. All right, let's try it from here. See if we can fish from around there, Bob.
Well, I got some homework to do here. I got to do. A, I'm gonna do a video from here this week on the mm. on these damn fish that we're catching. I ain't catching no mm. humpback tonight. That's odd. Mm. Very odd. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Yeah. They're, they're in here now. I'm just gonna have to figure out how to catch them on a more frequent basis. Oh, okay. Well. I might have to go to my purple. Maybe, maybe this is one fish that doesn't like the club series barbless narrow. Maybe his database didn't get updated to bite this. Mm. What? Buck got a new personal record? Nuh uh I saw it. Wow. How can that be a new personal record? It means that yeah, I've ne I, I've never caught a Europe I've never caught a uni European perch? No. I, I guess not. <laughs> I mean if that if that trophy is a personal record European perch. Mm -hmm. Huh. I've never caught a uni. Well, I have I have a bunch of unis out there that I purposely didn't go after. I gotta have I gotta have something to fish for. Yeah. Well, I'm not one of these guys that get on a waterway and they have to catch every fish, every mission, get everything done. That's a gaming aspect. What the hell are you gonna what are you going to go back and fish for then? You got no reason to go back and fish. Yeah, I don't know. You know, you don't, you don't have that big guy still living in that waterway you ain't got yet. Mm -mm. That's that thrill of the hunt. You know, I'm going back there to get him. Yeah. Yeah, I always leave a couple of fish around. Okay. You need to cut that, cut yourself a, a hole in that door so that dog can get in and out himself. He's training you to get up and do things for him. Not good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where's Fishy Mama? What did I mention to my wife to pass it on? I have a problem though. I have a problem though, which I mentioned to my wife to pass it on. If you buy a lake or river DLC, you should be able to keep it. You keep the gear, yes, but not the waterway. Oh, I think I know what you're saying. When you buy a DLC, you get a, you get a pass to a waterway for like three days or seven days. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. That's what was. If, <laughs> you don't get to keep the pass. <laughs> that's rental. You just bought yourself a plane ticket. That's all. When you're done, you need to buy another plane ticket. <laughs> yeah. Let's face it. Fishy plants out there to make money. <laughs> they give you the yeah. game. They give you the game for free, and they give you a damn good game for free. They give you a good one for free, but boy, oh boy, if you if you if you want to actually use everything that's in the game, it costs you hundreds of real dollars, thousands actually, fellas, thousands. I don't I don't even want to quote what I've got spent in this game. Mm -mm. Oh man. Because if I did, my wife yeah. would. My if I did, I'm still in the stream. My wife would have documented proof. <laughs> so when yeah. she goes to the lawyers, look, he's nuts. Look what he spends on games. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, here she comes. She must be listening to the stream. Yeah. Lazy mouse. Uh-oh. Something's up there rattling. <laughs> 
I don't know. She must be doing something. I didn't hear any big, I didn't hear a big thud, so. <laughs> I guess nothing heavy fell yet. Come on, humpback, where are you, dude? Oh, your buddies came to dance with Buck tonight. Well, looks like you're a lone soldier tonight, FB Mobile. You're carrying the chat line. <laughs> 13, mm -hmm. 13 views, zero chat rank, one concurrent viewer. Nobody liked what we were doing tonight. They, they logged in and logged out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, well. You'll have that. Yeah. I mean, it's a two-hour stream. How am I supposed to make the fish jump on my hook for two hours? I'm out here after certain fish. This is this is real fishing. I can't make them get on my damn hook. I ain't Super Dave. I can't tell you I'm going to go out and catch something and it appears on my hook in the next second in the in the video. I, I don't know how he I don't know how he does that. That's just magic to me. It must be nice to have so, well, it must be nice to have so much video that you can just decide to make a video on something and go back through your raw footage and just pull up a bunch of stuff that you already have and just boom, out it goes. Do a little voiceover and boom, you're done. No, I don't work that way. No. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, I, it's just how he does it. I, I don't do it that way. My stuff is start to finish. You, I want my viewer to feel the pain I feel. The frustration. Look at that big Arctic grayling over there jumping. Mm. All right, we're gonna have to go to live bait here. This 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 isn't working, Buck. You got half an hour to bring that hump back in. And he ain't biting on this lure today. So, mudworms, redworms, side swimmers, Candace larva. Should we try a float rod or a bottom rod? You're not having much luck with those bottom rods, are you? I noticed none of them are going off. Who? You're the only one fishing with me. Hmm. So. Uh, come on, man. Come on. Well, yeah, but that, what was that? That's a spinning rod, though, wasn't it? No. What do you mean, no? It's a now chaser. What are you doing fishing for these guys with a now chaser? That's 97 pound. <laughs> 97 pound pole. You're catching five pound fish. Uh, I think my peak's over. <laughs> I think my peak's over. <laughs> okay, hold on, Buck. Can I come now? Hold on, Buck. You're in trouble here. I think I got two hot ones. Oh, Micah. You make me laugh, buddy. You make me laugh. <laughs> uh, okay, we need we need a float rod, Buck. You, you didn't bring. Okay, this ought to be fun. Not a small minnow. Mm -hmm. Where is the other floater? Throw it out here and float him down there. 
Uh oh, that's a little bit fur, Buck. Sitting like that. It ain't that shallow there. What's the matter with that thing? Dang. Well, Buck, you only got half an hour to get this fish. Make sense what I wrote. I was on the phone, Mr. Khan. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> well, the comment that that I that I made Mo, was that you know you're you're just getting a plane ticket with that DLC. You get a chance to go there and taste the waters. That's all. They buy you a plane ticket for one day, three days, what seven days, whatever comes with the DLC. You spend more money, you get a you get a longer pit pass, so to speak. But that's just to wet your whistle, so you go back there and spend more money to get back there. Everybody loves catching them big fish down in the South America and Africa when they shouldn't be down there. You know, because mm -hmm. that's the whole thing. Oh, you know, buy the DLC and go to the Congo and level up. Not such a good idea. <laughs> no. You not, don't know how to do it. Not a good idea. Yeah, how well, with the DLCs, I recommend, and this is just my recommendation, only because I've been through this game three times from zero to 80. <laughs> um, I, I would recommend that, yes, if you're going to spend money on a DLC, if that's the route you're going to take and you're going to spend some money, um, then be wise about it and don't 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 get the don't get the DLC and for that waterway until you've actually leveled up to where you can go there. Then and remember this when you're going up through the you know so you don't buy gear you know. Know your DLCs. Know what's in them. Know what kind of gear you're getting when you buy them. So you make sure that you don't you don't want to duplicate your gear. You don't need to. So don't waste your money on spent. If you know you're going to buy the Congo pack when you get to level seventy five, so you get the boat and the sticks and all that. Well, then yeah. don't don't go out there spending money trying to buy them sticks at an earlier point. You don't you don't need to really. No. You don't need McConzie's at Blue Crab if you're only level 54. You know what? Your heavy chasers will do just fine, and you'll actually make way more XP, and you'll level up faster. 
You, you go to Blue Crab with level 80 sticks. Yeah, you'll make the money, but you're not going to make any XP. You're, you're not going to level up. No. I mean, everything you catch, you're going to see red arrows. Yeah, you'll get you'll get a little bit of XP, but not what you could make with an appropriate poll. Mm -hmm. And that's what I tried to tell everybody that, you know, if you followed my videos from all the way up from Lone Star, you know, I teach you how to read waterways. I That's what I did. And, and try to get you the best gear that you could buy that and fish with the gear that's appropriate for the waterway. You'll, you'll actually, you'll actually get through the game faster if you do that. Cause you'll, you mm -hmm. Your XP will increase more if you're fishing with the appropriate gear. Right. So if you're, mm -hmm. you know, and that's it. Even when you get to level 80, I mean, to do it the right way, to get the best experience out of Fishing Planet, if you're a level 80 player, of course, you have all the sticks, you know. But if you're going to a level 26 lake, don't, don't take your level 80 sticks. Take your level 26 sticks, you know. Yeah. Now, what happens, though, is the guys that bought these DLCs, they have, all of a sudden, they have a couple of level 80 sticks, and they don't have any money, so they can't buy any other sticks, because they, yeah, you make a lot of money when you're at the Congo, you make this, you make that, but what, what's the first thing you do? You come back and you, and you buy another boat, you spend all your money, because, oh my gosh, I made all this money, <laughs> and... And before you know it, you're broke, and and now you have level eighty sticks, and you're not going to make any XP. Well, yeah, you're not. You can't go anywhere, and when you do, you're fishing with level eighty gear, so you're not making any XP. So you've just really slowed yourself down your progress. Yeah, yeah it's just it's bad. It's it's a bad situation if you go down that route to begin to begin with. Mm -hmm. There's a unique already nice. grayling. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see that one. That's a nice one. Yeah. Okay. How many unis I got tonight? You've got quite a few unis tonight. About at least I think four. Yeah, it's a lot. There are a lot. The burbot, the northern yeah. pike, uh, this grayling. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Only three then. You did good. Then that's okay. I'm doing pretty good last week. You've been nailing me. Yeah, there's nothing biting on this cadence stuff, Buck. You gotta try something else for this humpback. How about blood worms, buddy? Let's go to the old blood worm route. See what we yeah. can come up with. Try that. We'll work this guy like a now I will tell you bottom snipers and blue crab you're gonna get beat up mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun you get a lot of XP for with those rods but you better have patience because mm -hmm. you latch on to, and you've already caught a couple of uni tarpons. Um, you latch on to a uni tarpon on a bottom sniper. You're fighting that boy for a long time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I got frustrated with the, I actually, when I, the first time I went to Blue Crab, I had heavy chasers and uh, that was tough. Um when you when you get a hundred and thirty pound, hundred and twenty pound uni tarpon on a fifty six pound uh, heavy chase, my heavy chasers were fifty six pounds because I bought mm -hmm. I needed two bottom rods, so I went to the sport pack and I for five bucks I you know five bucks of four ninety nine, so for ten bucks I got myself two bottom rods very early in the game. Yeah. Yeah, they had a couple of them. There's, I think that I think the heavy chasers started. They have a fifty-two, a fifty-six, and a fifty something else. Mine was fifty-six something. I don't know, but yeah, mm. <clears throat> but even those get a workout. They get a workout on uh, blue crab. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
when I go to Blue Crab now, I, I go because I'm I'm going to make money and I'm going to get shiners. So, you know, mm -hmm. I, I take my level 80 gear all the way across the board. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to waste time fighting fish at all. I just want them in, in the, mm -hmm. in the fish net. The faster mm -hmm. I can fill my fish net, the faster I can go to the next day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I have, you know, like I said, I have bottom snipers and I take them for depending on what fish I'm going for, you know, and mm -hmm. if you're, if you're fighting fish that's in the 45 to 35 pound range, then bottom snipers are perfect. Absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. Now I'm up, I'm on, I'm up there in uh, California on the steam account. Now I'm fighting sturgeon, mm -hmm. I'm fighting sturgeon with a 35 pound bottom, uh, bottom sniper. Um, it's yeah. br it's brutal, but I'm making killer XP. That's what I did. To, I leveled up from 46 to 48, and that's what I did. Mm -hmm. I took bottom snipers to California because I knew the yeah. XP would be great on them, and I just fished for mm -hmm. sturgeon. I had one cat boxer that was a 47 pound stick, and a and a bottom 35 pound bottom sniper. And that's, I just did 16 days up there. I made $350,000 and I leveled up twice. Mm. But you're up there now to level 60. So you're coming up, you're coming up on some good gear there. Yeah. Now another good another good stick for California because you can use you can use match rods on them sturgeons too. Easily done. Mm -hmm. You just drop it down sixty four inches on a match rod and you're right there where to, it's only seven feet deep over there. So you get a um, you get the majesty. Um majesty match rod, uh, I think it's a forty seven pounder or fifty pounder right there somewhere in that range. Um, that works. Mm -hmm. That works real well uh, for those sturgeon because it keeps you close. You still get good XP because you know those sturgeon are 52, 53, 54. You know you get a couple of little ones, but even the fifty-five pounders are still good XP with that forty-seven pound Majesty mm -hmm. rod, float rod. So that's good XP. Yeah. Finally, I get a ding. Come on, somebody bite my bait here. I love the Majesty rods. When it comes to I, when it comes to the float rods in this game, uh, mm -hmm. I I just think they're designed so well. They're so strong, but yet they're very narrow at, at the tip. So there's a lot of action. Um, it keeps the hook set really well. You don't get a lot of, you know, foul escape, a fish escape for low tension with a majesty rod. Um, they just, they're, they're a nice rod. Now the Brutus rods are okay. They're, they're the next step down, but they're a little stiffer of a rod. Um, I find them to be really good for, I use a Brutus rod up there in California. I bait him up with duck muscle at the same time I'm fishing for my sturgeon. And I throw him out there with duck muscle for the carp, the uni carp. So you get those 40 pound uni carp on a 33 pound Brutus. That's still good XP, but it's a good fight. But yet you, you know, you land them nicely. We got somebody finally biting my blood worms.
Well, another European perch. That's not what I ordered in the restaurant. Take it back, sir. Take it back. Mm -hmm. I didn't order perch. I ordered white humpback whitefish, and they keep giving me perch on my plate. So I'm sending it back to the kitchen. <laughs> Not what I ordered. No. Pretty soon they're going to get mad at me and kick me out of the restaurant. That's mm. all right. Now, I'm going to give you all a little secret because there isn't a whole lot of people watching. So, I'll let all you close guys, I'll let you in on another little secret. If you're in your 20 pound gear range, because of course you have to have, you know, we got to, you got to have 20 pound gear, you got to have 30 pound gear, you got to have 40 pound gear, 50 pound gear, you got to have all that. I mean, that's just, I mean, if you're going to be a fisherman, you have to acquire that over time. In your 20 pound range, that Phoenix 1410. I'd say, I think it's a 20, 21 pound, something like that, 21 pound stick. You put that Big River 6500 19 pounder on there with 20 pound test line. You got yourself one heck of a 20 pound mat rod. There ain't much that's going to. It ain't much that's going to tug on you with that. The cat boxer eight six. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what weight the eight six is. Um, I I have the one that's the, that's uh, I think it's forty seven forty seven point four pounds. That's I'm I'm fixing to build that stick into a secret weapon. Well, yeah, you take that, you take the 40, 47.4 pound cat boxer and you put the Griffin Spod reel on it, which is 47.4 pounds, exactly the same. And it's got like a 57 inch recovery. Um, <laughs> you latch on to one of them tarpon with that. With a 57 inch recovery. Now you're yanking them in. Mm -hmm. They make a Griffin reel that fits the cat boxer 47.4 perfectly. And they make one that fits the Zeus. So I have one on my Zeus spinning rod. So I, I have a Zeus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a 46 pound Zeus. And I have a Griffin Griffin rod on a uh, reel on it. Uh. I got you, buddy. It's your time. I know. Tens of ten. All right. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next week. Okay. Bye, buddy. Bye, bud. Well, I did not have this fish yet. I'm giving this one more, one more little bit. We're gonna pull out the, the purple, the purple narrow spoon for ten minutes and see if we can pull them out of here. They don't like your bait, Buck. Ooh. Nope. What we got here? Probably in the bottom. 
bottom belly between two peaks. Oh, no, actually not. One of those days, huh? All right, where is it? Oh, God. Come on. Okay, we got a problem here, Buck. Where the hell did it go? Do I have it on another rod somewhere? No. Did I not bring it? Never not bring it. And it ain't here. Hey, do ya? That Lord never leaves my tackle box. Oh, Buck, you, you need to start this week all over. I can tell you that. Buzz bait. What are you doing with a buzz bait? Well, let's see if we can have him up here in eight minutes. Well, I've tried working this a little slow. I've tried working it a little quicker. There's one. He ain't him.
fuck. I know what we're going to do for the last five minutes. We're going to move down the bank here. Oh, come on, buddy, hit it. Breaking the log there, Buck. Shallow, Buck, shallow. Thanks, Luke. <clears throat> come on, come on, Buck. You got to get this guy. You can do it, Buck. Come on, you can do it. Nothing by that log, you kidding me? Come on, I noticed something off the back of that rock. Oh, you're hooked on the damn. Ah, oh, you're hooked on the log, Buck. Now look what you've gone, done, 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 did. There you go. Bark. You got bark. I know how the hell did I get a shell off of that log? I don't need any shells anymore. I'm pretty sure. All right. Well, that done do That took three minutes of my life away. I'll never get back. What's going on here, game? Hello. Stop doing that. Don't you dare get me hooked up on that log again.
There we are. Yes, Mr. Mobile. There we are. Yeah, I do. Got quite a few of them, actually. Hmm. Hit the mission videos up. I got one on every, every, every. I got one on every mission. <laughs> I got a video on every one. Every mastering mission, every collecting mission, every exploring mission. All right, well, we'll keep this guy. Let's move over here, Buck. You gotta move this over here, me. All right, we can do that. Oh, you don't have that working now. Let's do that there, buddy. There we go. That'll work. Well, folks, we didn't get the damn. The main fish I was coming after, here after was that humpback whitefish. And I didn't get him yet. So I'm going to have to stick around a little bit longer because I'm about to put a video out on it. So we'll have to work on him a little bit more. He didn't hit me, he didn't hit me up in, uh, didn't hit me up in none of my spots where he lives. So I'll have to hunt him down a little bit better. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. Remember, hit that thumbs up. We're struggling hard here lately at the channel. So every little bit helps. We appreciate it. We really do. Don't forget, next, next Saturday night, uh, Bay Chop at 7, fishing with Bucket 8. Tomorrow night, we're going to Falcon Lake. We're going to do a little trout fishing on the Steam platform. So, if you guys that hang out on Steam, I know a lot of you guys watch the Saturday night stream too. That's where we're headed. We're headed to Falcon. We're going to do a little trout fishing. Never ever give up the fight. We'll see you later.